Good evening, Pantheon. Tonight's show is brought to you by JB, this young lady right here. She posed the topic, do you think withholding sex from your partner in the beginning of the relationship helps or hurts? To see you guys again so bright and early in the morning, you know what I'm saying? The work never stops, but I'm glad. If you guys haven't had a chance already, check out the two new videos that have been posted within the past day. You've got the roast that I did of my co-host D, and then you have the roast of Peter Massey. Check that out. Both of those videos I think are hot. I enjoyed them, and they've been blowing up on social media. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe to those. Now to the topic at hand. Does withholding sex from your partner or whoever you're talking to in the beginning of the relationship affect the bond later on? No. Hell no. Uh, I, that's a pretty simple answer for me. It's like how damn my rock said. When guys first meet a female, girls expect us to show them how super duper a nigga is. Meanwhile, they over there holding a pistol to the pussy. And that's a direct quote from Hot Damn I Rock. You guys need to check out his channel as well. Because I fucks with him. And he's always on point when he comes to his relationship advice. And I tend to agree with him. You can't spend the whole relationship or the whole beginning phase of the relationship as a man doing everything in your power to show this girl that you are worth the time of day. You're worth the effort that she's going to have to put in in the relationship without her doing anything. Now, a lot of you guys have gotten this 90-day rule from Think Like a Man in that Steve Harvey book. That don't work. That's bullshit. You need to know your worth before you go into the relationship. And whether you sleep with him on the first date, the second date, or the third date, honestly, all that stuff really doesn't matter. What matters is your character, your personality, making sure you've evaluated that person that you decide to give the goodies up to before you do it. Because a lot of you girls go out, go around out here and y'all give it up to just anybody. Anybody. And then you want to go around and say, ain't no man out here. Ain't no real kings. All these niggas ain't shit. That's not true. It's just the niggas you fuck with ain't shit. So maybe you need to evaluate yourself. But no. If you give it up in a relationship, first day, let's just say. Give it up the first day. You wind up having a good dude. Granted, he might taint his opinion of you a little bit. Possibly. If he's a bitch ass nigga. But it's like Cat Williams said about the stretch marks. Ain't nobody care about no damn stretch marks. Either you was big and got little, or you a little and got big. Either way, we fucking. In any case, shout out to Cat Williams for that. You guys have to know that. You have to know your self-worth, your self-value. And when you do that, you will attract people that are of that same mindset. So, for instance, me. More often than not, I'm not really running up on a girl that's going to give it to me on the first day. A, because I have enough value and character in myself to where any young lady that I decide to talk to, that I decide to give my time to, which is like Patrice O'Neill said, God rest his soul, rest in peace. Time to a man is like the vagina is to a woman. And we have to hold it just as close to us and make it just as precious as you guys do the vagina. Because that's all women want from a man. You want our time. You want our attention. You want us to take you places. You want us to listen to you. You want us to do all these amazing things. But meanwhile, I'm asking myself, while you are withholding this vagina from me, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing to show me that you're amazing? Other than just being there and accepting all the love, showering gifts that I'm giving you in order to show you I'm worth it. What have you shown me about you being worth it? You know what I'm saying? More than likely nothing. So if you just so happen to be one of those broads where the guy worked his ass off to finally get with you and get the time to where you'll go out on a date with him, you start liking him and you'll sleep with him, at that point, it's an accomplishment thing for that man. It's a, I've been doing all this, I'm going to get what I'm going to get out of it, but that doesn't guarantee that he's going to stick with you. That doesn't guarantee that he likes you, because like I said, he don't know shit about you at this point, other than that you like to talk, you like to spend a lot of time with him. Nothing. What are you showing while I'm taking you out on dates? Are we splitting it? Are you coming up with creative ideas, telling me where to go? I just dropped that pen, but y'all didn't see that. Most of the time, no. Most of the time, that's not what's happening. Most of the time, the guy is going extraordinarily out of his way for these females. 
and not getting very much in return. So the at the very least, he going to get what he came for. If you're not going to show a relationship, if you're not going to show, you know, care, concern, and that you value this as much as he does, that you have just as much interest, then yes, that man is going to get what he came for. So you might as well accept it. And then back to back to the question, like I said, withholding it, that doesn't do anything. It, it really doesn't. You have to have that value for yourself. Because like I've told you guys in videos before, men will give you, ladies, exactly what you accept from them. And it goes both ways. If you accept a nigga that's just going to hit and quit, that's what you're going to get. But if you accept that there's a higher standard for yourself, if you accept that there's value to yourself, your mind and your body, and that that little treasure between your legs is actually worth more than a couple likes and stuff on Instagram, or a couple dollars dancing around a pole, once you grasp that mentality, then you'll start attracting men to where you don't have to worry about, do I need to withhold sex? Is he going to just hit it and quit it? Because the caliber of man you'll be bringing around yourself is different. It's not going to be these little high school boys. It's not going to be these little college boys and all they want is to hit. Because men are intimidated, ladies. Men are intimidated very easily. And this is something that you need to understand. If you look like one of those classy girls, if you carry yourself like a Cinderella or the Southern Belle or whatever the case may be, the guy who would normally try to hit and quit ain't even going to waste his time with you. Because he feels like you are out of his class. He feels like you're out of his range. You're not an attainable goal because he can't get what his initial thought is. He cannot get the cookie. Can't get it because you don't present yourself that way. So maybe instead of worrying about whether you should withhold sex from the nigga, maybe you need to be worrying about what's going on with my mentality to where I have to worry about withholding sex from a nigga. Why can't I just attract that good man? And you all ask yourselves that. And I just gave you the answer. That's why. Upgrade your mentality. Upgrade your standards. Upgrade yourself. Life is all about growth and development. If you are not learning something every day, whether it be about yourself, other people, your job, your career, what you want to do, spirituality, you need to stop. Stop living. Stop wasting the air for everybody else that actually wants to go out here and not just exist. But they want to live. And me, preferably, I want to live with some poontang. So, I have a girlfriend, but if I didn't, I'd go find me a young lady who met my qualifications and standards, who was on the same level as me mentally, physically, and emotionally, and we would make it happen. And whether she gave it to me on the first date or 90 days from now, the nature of our relationship isn't going to change because that was not my desire. That was not my intent when I met her. Or when I began that conversation, my intent wasn't to just hit it. And some of y'all are asking, oh, well, how do you know in the beginning? Come on now. You mean to tell me that out of all the years you've been living, and I'm assuming most of the people that are watching this are 18 plus. Let's just assume you're 18 plus. Out of all the years you've been living and all the things you've seen in person, on TV, and read about, you mean to tell me that you can't judge somebody's character within the first five or ten minutes of looking at it? Tell me no. Tell me no, you can't. Go ahead, ladies, and tell me that. Because what I'm going to tell you next is, well, how do you guys say, oh, well, we know if we're going to fuck a guy within the first five or ten minutes of meeting him. Yeah, you didn't think I knew about that, huh? Yes, I know. I talk to y'all. I listen. Y'all don't think men listen, but we listen. Or I do anyway, because it's in my best interest to listen to you. That way I can understand you. I know how you think, and I know how to work around it. Smart guy. But in any case, think like that. Think like a man. Think, okay, if this is what he initially wants, if you like hood niggas like that, or you like the guys that just want the cracker in the beginning, you know, they want that little cookie in the beginning, then maybe you have to play that game. But you got to know what game you're playing first. So educate yourself. In any case, I hope this was helpful. JB, I appreciate you for asking me uh, the question and giving me the topic for the advice portion tonight. Thank you. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Pantheon U Entertainment. Shout out to my co-host D for taking that roasting so gracefully last night. Shout out to Pete for asking to get roasted today. Make sure you guys check out those videos. Like, subscribe, and share. 
Thank you. Y'all have a good night. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you add my co-host D on Instagram and on Facebook. Also, don't come on our page with that bullshit. You can see it right there. You can also find me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, at Negrito. Make sure you find me, add me, follow me. I love talking to you guys. Hit me up. Have a good night.